This is the Water Witch 12 to 24 volt DC 10 amp panel mount meter. Let's take it out of the package. And in the package is the meter itself and three terminals to go on the back of it. You can see it'll do voltage and current in amps right there. This particular one is green. It's also available in red and blue. So let me show you how this gets hooked up and then I will hook it up and give you a demonstration. It fits a one inch hole and you see there's a locking ring here that you can unscrew all the way to take off to put it in the hole that you've drilled and then of course it'll tighten up from behind like that. There are no instructions included with this but I've got you covered. It's very simple. If you look right over here there's a plus and over here is a minus mark. So you put your voltage here, your positive here, your negative here, and then the load or the device that you want to measure the current off of comes off of this terminal. This is the negative terminal for the load. So you connect the positive terminal, you can connect right back to here because that is the positive that you're connecting to, or really it's better to go back to the source itself and connect from there. And then this would connect to the negative lead of your load. So once again it is marked there plus on the right side minus on the left and the center is your negative of your load. Let me get this hooked up now. Okay right over here I have one of these jump start packs as you see with the battery clamps it's 12 volts and on the positive I have just connected a wire from there and the negative to the negative. I have not hooked a load up at this point yet. The battery um, jump starter has a switch on it, which I'm going to turn on. And you can use this just as a voltmeter if that's all you want. The current is just going to read zero if nothing is hooked to it, but that's perfectly fine. So I'll turn it on. And it's reading 12.7 volts and zero amps because we have no load on it. So now I'm going to go ahead and hook a load up to it, and I'll show you how that's going to work. To test the meter, I have one of these LED replacement headlights that you would find on a car nowadays, uh, you know, as easy drop-in replacements. I have the wires hooked up to the connector on there, and you will notice, if I set that aside for a moment, that I have the positive from it coming back to my positive lead. The negative on the load, on the light itself, is connected over to the center terminal on the meter. So I'll set the light out of frame so it won't really interfere with the uh, video. And now I'll take this and put the power on. You see the light obviously came on. And it's reading now 12.3 volts and the light is drawing 2.22 amps or so. Uh, that'll fluctuate of course. Now obviously you're not just going to have one light on so uh, this would be about double that. And the, vo the uh, current is going to change a little bit as it sort of warms up and gets up to temperature and it'll vary throughout uh, its operating time. So now it's down to 2.19 amps. You can effectively double that because you will have two headlights if that's what you were testing in this case. Uh, so that would be about 4.32 is what you would read if you wanted to hook this up to the headlights on your car. Here's a close-up shot of the meter. So you can see it's nice and bright. I have all the room lights on plus the light from this LED headlight. And uh, besides the glare I get from the lights in here, it is absolutely perfectly readable. This meter is also very, very handy. Uh, you know, because it'll also show you the voltage drop. Right now, like I said, this is just on a jump starter pack. In a vehicle, it may read differently because you have an alternator involved when the engine is running. But uh, you don't have to use it for an automotive application, of course. I'm just using this as an example. If I were to disconnect the bulb, if you watch the voltage here, which is currently reading 12.1, now it goes up to 12.4. And, of course, the current reading is zero because the light is now disconnected. So like I had stated before, the meter will read up to 24 volts, depending on the particular application, and the current maximum reading is 10 amps on it. 
the display is nice and bright very readable in any kind of lighting condition again this was the green one but it's also available in a red and a blue display so once again this was the water witch 12 to 24 volt dc 10 amp panel mount meter if you'd like to purchase this item i'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on amazon thanks for watching make sure you click like make sure you click subscribe and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.